Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra. I am here today for redemption. Because at the end of last video I was beaten by this puzzle. So yeah in this we were trying to fix this puzzle. I think this moves like the crane. There's like a crane out here. And I think the aim is we just got to move this over to maybe that and smash the doors open. So basically these buttons they're not like connected up properly. So if you don't fix this and you press forward it won't necessarily go forward. So you can see it there. So forward does actually go forward. Okay, that's good. So if we want to get it to move right. No, that one's down. That one's up. That one's right. Okay, yeah, we'll just do this. I can't be asked to fix it. This is way easier. Right, there you go. Past there. So forwards is that one. We'll accidentally smash it into the car. Sorry about that. And hopefully if we smash it through the wall, will that knock the door open? Boosh. Nice. So puzzle solved. We are free. Anyway, we can now head around here and up these boxes. Yeah, but now we can open this because we got the key from that room we were locked in. And what the hell? It's like the Matrix. Experience, experience, experience. Hang on, this is engineer code. I'm pretty sure I can read this. All right, yes, I think I can read it. I think I can read it. Oh, how about that? How about that? <laughs> right, what have we got in here? We got a computer. Let's sit down and see what it says. Boss, here's some interesting plunder from the latest hack. Oh no, there's hackers. They've got some military secrets. Holy turnip. <laughs> okay, so these guys have found out about the SNW. And I think the SNW was sort of something to do with the nuclear plant. I'm sure someone in the comments will let us know. <laughs> someone that's actually been following the story. But I believe that is probably a photo. No, it isn't. Okay, that's not a photo. Uh, anything else in this room? What is that? Oh, look. Oh, we got the memory stick. Yoink. So that's why we didn't take a photo, because it's on a memory stick instead. Ooh, cactus. Whoa, whoa, what is going on down there? Can you see that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think that motor we were dangling about, I think it's actually haunted. <laughs> Would that kill me if I walk into it? Yes. So I'm going to head this way. We're going to try and inspect this bridge. Oh, look, rebar. That is a photo. So yes, the aim of this game is to take photo of like any civil engineering mishaps, any things that need fixing. Although at the moment we're meant to be preventing a nuclear plant from melting down. I'm not really sure why we're wasting time on a bridge that might not exist in a few minutes. <laughs> right, this is our car, this is where we parked. So we're going to try seeing what's up this way. So that door's locked. This door out is not locked, but I'm trapped. Help! Help me! Alright, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, oh, I can actually press these. What do they say? Beer master. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to knock on everyone's front door. Sorry. Oh, so someone just answered. They were expecting me and uh, they've told me to come to their apartment. I'm going to keep pressing these though, just for the bants. Right, and then we'll head in. Border inspection. What? I thought I was, I thought I was going into a building. I just picked up a bit of paper. I think it said passport on it. Cool inspector. Important notice. Show passport if you are a citizen of open sewer. Don't give beer to the inspector. Absolutely no six packs of beer. Okay, we might need to find some beer. <laughs> so I assume I press that, do I? Oh, there you go. I've been told to go in. But uh, hey ho, we're in. We're up. Turnip Hill. Oh, there's a doorbell on there. Let's just spam that. See if anyone's in. I don't think anyone's in. Oh, look, more rebar. That is a photo. Right, anyway. Oh, no, the guy's dock is still missing. And apparently as well, I missed something in an earlier episode. If I'd called that number... In the last episode, apparently the dock appears or something and there's like a crazy sort of backstory thing. Yeah, again, just one of the many, many secrets in this game. Where the hell are we? What is this? Beer Master. Ooh, rebar. That's a photo. This place is falling apart. Someone left their dinner there as well. All right, we can head in here. There's a pink button. Oh, is it for this elevator? Ooh, automatic lights. All right, I might come back to that. I'm a little bit scared of getting trapped in elevators, especially if they're all dark and dingy like this place. The Open Sewer Market. Oh, actually. Oh, what's this? Bottle recycling. Actually, I I swear I just saw that. Yes, I think in order to get the elevator to work, we need coins. Those things. Okay, so we need to recycle some bottles, I reckon. I'm pretty sure on this table... Yes, there was. We'll grab this bottle. We'll shove it in this machine. Cram bottles here. There you go. Oh, look. We got coins. There's another one. Four. Oh, nice. So as long as I can get that up to nine, we should be good, I think. Oh, look, there's a vending machine here. Can I... Prices. One normal coin is four open sewer coins. Oh, so I can buy things. Random, shroom, batteries, milk, and beer. Okay, so I think I want more than nine coins then. <laughs> I wonder if cans count. 
Yes, a can counts. Milk carton? No, don't think so. A flask? Oh yes, flask was worth two. Glass stuff, as it says there. I wonder if a pint glass will work. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right, well, we've got 13, but I did pick that other one up. I want to see if this vending machine... Let's just see what we can buy. We could buy more if we need, but shall we see what random does? So where do I put them in? There. Random. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> what does that say? Duck. We got a duck key. Right, well, I might get all my coins out. So if I press that... Oh, there's all the coins. So many coins. <laughs> oh, God. So I want to go in the elevator. I know I've got a few spare coins. I wouldn't mind buying some other stuff. I should probably use the elevator first, though. Otherwise, I could be in trouble. So let's input some coins. Closed door. Select floor. Oh, I was meant to put the coins in last. Anyway, okay, let's close the door. So we're already on floor one. Shall we just work our way up? So floor two, cost one. Let's go have a look. Oh, we're moving up. So you can see all the stairs are locked. You can't go up the stairs. So we have to use the elevator. Let's go this way first. So, oh, that is, that's probably a photo. Yeah, that's a photo. Oh, there's more beers. Oh, and more coins. Nice. What is going on there? There's like a hacksaw behind the button. The door's locked. Oh, that one's unlocked. Oh, that's duck. That's duck. Because there's a duck. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this is, this is slightly, slightly weird. <laughs> there's ducks everywhere. Why is that photo so scary? Ducks on the bed. Is that the only reason for coming in here? What's in the toilet? Oh, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Actually, that is a surprise. Usually when you do that in this game, uh, you're often greeted with a poo. So, oh, look, key, key. Stairs. Does that mean we don't have to use the elevator anymore? Let's go up here. Is this now unlocked? No, it's still very much locked. It must be different stairs. Anyway, we'll head this direction. So the beer master is in this room. Wait, beer master, open up. He's ignoring me. He must be drunk again. Ooh. So pass more. They asked for a password to get in there. But I didn't know it. So they told me to F off. <laughs> Don't know. Think we're done on this floor though. I wonder if our key lets us go down. Yes, it does. Ooh, okay. So we can go up to that floor whenever we want now. I might explore like downstairs a bit more before we go up. <laughs> Hello, mate. Uh, ooh, is that a turnip farm? There's a turnip farm. BSB. Ooh, got some coins. Turnip Hill History. Pay 25 OC to read. I don't have that many coins. So maybe I do want to go and collect all of the bottles and stuff from each floor. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, shall we see what the top five bestsellers are? In number five, Plan F. Number four, it's chemistry. Number three, it's the legend of Stuhlberg Underground. Number two, it's Alan Bacon's cookbook. And number one, the pineapple by Jimmy P. Apple. Three what? Well, there's three bottles there. Oh, there's a security camera. I wonder, do I need to put something in to get through there or something? I don't know. Probably massively overthinking. Oh, look, I'm not overthinking that, though. That is rebar. That is a photo. Anyway, back in the elevator. Let's go up another floor. So shut the door. Select the floor we want. Floor three. Price one. Put a coin in. Jobs are good and we're moving up. So what does this floor have for us? Well, that door's locked. That's above the hole we were looking up earlier. I can see mushrooms outside over there. Right, and then over here, what is that? That is a glow torch and a Banksy on the wall. Do not disturb. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow, some crazy crackhead just shouted at me. <laughs> so this one has a passcode. Interesting. There's more bottles as well. If we want them, we can collect them all up. Perhaps in a bit, if I could be asked. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going up, I guess. So we're on the magical floor four. That direction's locked. Oh, look, there's a party in there. Is that a mushroom cake? Oh, wow, look, there's like, they like worship mushrooms. Oh, God. Oh, and that's, the, that's what I saw from downstairs. So we've got to be able to get in here to enter two open sewer coins. Is that, what is that? Is that a padlock? Oh, it's padlocked because I've got to, I've got to put two coins in. There you go. We're in. So mushroom party, I guess. Oh, we've got a stairs key as well. Nice. There's lots of bottles. There's also, is that a plastic cup filled with green goo? Should I drink that? So yeah, that is quite clearly a mushroom cake. And like, the drinks are glowing. <laughs> All right, anything in the kitchen? Oh, look, the Alan Bacon cookbook. But yeah, a little bit weird. We found out in an earlier episode that mushrooms, like, people are turning into mushrooms. So a little bit worrying that these people are putting them in cakes. Are they cannibals, technically? 
Right, we're on a balcony. This wasn't the balcony, though. Oh, my God. Look at that one. It's like a wooden crate with a barbecue and chair hanging off the wall. That looks sketch. Oh, and over there. It looks like a drawbridge. What the hell? There's a car up there. <laughs> what is this place? All right, I've hit save. Sod it. We're going to have a slurp of this. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying the party. Am I going to die now? No, I didn't die. Everything's gone black and white. Uh, was this hole always here? I'm into next door's apartment. That is a photo. <laughs> While I'm tripping balls. Uh, I appear to have recovered from the tripping ballsness. So I'm just going to go through all these people's stuff. Stealing everything I can. Oh, what's this? Uh, getting passports is harder than ever before. I heard some people living on top of the elevator. Ooh, that's something to keep in mind. There's a birthday party next door. What are they doing in my bathroom? <laughs> right, that is a photo. So it sort of seems like people are living in this weird cult thing where money's been replaced with open sewer tokens. Everyone's reading all the top five books in the world. <laughs> the Wii is still the most popular console. Yeah, all in all, just very strange. Oh, man, and there's mushrooms everywhere. <laughs> Look at all these teddy bears. There's an engineer one in the middle. Nice. What's up these stairs? Oh, man, there's... This level's huge. I don't know what I'm doing. There's that barbecue. That don't look safe, mate. <laughs> oh, look, above me, there's the drawbridge. Intriguing. So, let's go up and see if we can get to it. Oh, we need a purple card. We need a purple card. Oh, or do we? Maybe we don't. We can find a fuse. Perhaps we can use this. What's upstairs? All right. Death out that way. But over here, we've got a fuse. Nice. That's what I like about this game. There's always different ways to solve each level. So the fuse of them. We've got a green light on that side. What if I hit that switch? All right. So the door's open. How do I get the bridge to come down? All right. Bridge is down. But now the door's shut. Bridge is going back up. All right. I think I can stand out here then. I've just hit the switch. I think it's on like some sort of timer. So door shuts behind me and then bridge comes down. Okay, I think that was a no. <laughs> I think that was a fail. So we'll drop back down. Ow. We'll try once more. No, it's not It's not coming down. All right, I'm thinking perhaps we have to find the purple card first. All right, and then we'll keep going up, I guess. We know there's something potentially on top of the elevator. But what's on this floor? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's quite interesting. What does floor six cost? Just one. Okay, we'll go up to floor six. So can't see a way up there. And that door's locked. All right, question. If I put this down to floor five and then jump out, is there... Oh, there is something above it. So I'm thinking if I want to go up there, I'm worried I might get crushed. If I press this button and then jump in... We're going up. Oh, there's a hatch. There is a hatch. So what was above the elevator? It's another It's another bloody party. Although this time I think they're onion worshippers rather than mushroom worshippers. What is going on down here? <laughs> that guy's face. Oh, here we go. We've got a code 0234. Oh, and then to get passports, we go to the underground city. So Stolberg Underground is an Atlantis sort of place. What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. We got the stairs key. All right, well, let's drop down here out. So have we unlocked the stairs all the way down now? I think we might have done. So we don't have to pave the elevator anymore. We just need to remember what floor the password one was on. Was it the first floor? All right, was it this guy's password? Let's see. No, it wasn't that password. It's the one with the keypad then. I think that might be a floor up. Here it is. Okay, so... Oh, two, three, four. Enter. Aha, we're in. We are in. Okay. My character just said it smells in here. So a little bit worried there might be a dead body or something. What else could smell? Maybe there's just like an actual architect in here. Oh god, what is that? The living mushrooms. Whoa. Oh, I think I found the cure. So there's this disease going on where people turn into mushrooms. Uh, basically because the water's been contaminated. So yeah, this guy's confirming the blue mushrooms are the cure. They're saying a guy called Kevin's dead. He's the one who found the cure, but the password is passed. Nice. So we can go upstairs into that room. So what happened to Kevin then? I, uh, wow. Okay. I really was not expecting that. Oh my God. He's still alive. He's moving. Oi, Kevin. You're right, mate. 
That is a photo. Oh my god, look at him. That is absolutely terrifying. So yeah, basically the people of this city, they're contaminated with something that turns them into mushrooms like this bloke here, Kevin. Oh, it's in his mouths and growing out his eyeballs and everything. It's horrible. It is horrible. I mean, I guess that's what you get for smashing a mirror. Seven years bad luck of turning into mushrooms. All right, so we'll head back to the password room. The password is passed. All right, so we've just been told if we want to buy a passport, we've got to give him a thousand real money. So I've just plopped money through the letterbox because I had it in cash. Oh, and there's my passport. That's what I look like, apparently. <laughs> I'm bald and always wear sunglasses. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to wear sunglasses on a passport, but still, we've got that. All right, so now we just got to get 99 coins, I guess. I also want to go back upstairs and try and get through the bridge. We, did, we never found a purple pass. So, rather than the purple pass, what if I... Surely I can just use the stair... Oh, I'm an idiot. Maybe I can just... If I do the bridge and run up here, I can just bypass the door. Oh, Matt, you... Oh, no. Oh, I nearly fell off. I nearly fell off. <laughs> right, bro, made it through the drawbridge. So this is where we are. What is this? It looks very fancy. And there's a slot machine as well. So you put a coin in. So we got one bet. What do you have to do? Bet what it's going to land on? Got to be a seven, surely. Let's play. Come on. Wait, it's still going. I'm confused. How does this slot machine work? Oh, it's a 16. All right, we go again. Surely it's a one in 16 chance of winning, right? Six and a half hours later. All right, I can't have many coins left, but I must win this. Come on. <laughs> I gotta win. I gotta win. What do I win? Oh, do I win 38 coins? Oh, God. Oh, there's so many. But we just keep going till we win, I guess. We gotta get 99 coins. Blimey. Oh, five times jackpot. 95 coins. We've done it. All right, pay those bad boys out. Give me those coins. Look at them all glitching. There's so many. <laughs> I'm not even gonna take them. I'm just gonna watch them become cursed oh what a lovely way to end the video guys right that was in for it thanks for watching peace love and the jackpot bye guys